We can do many good deeds, but we do not protect them. We might do something that ruin them. Very dangerous, Ya Akhwan. We work extremely hard. We pray, we fast, we give in charity. We do so many things. So does not make any sense to ruin all that or to come on the day of judgment and find everything has been destroyed. So the doing the hasanat is excellent, but protecting them is the most important thing in our life. So what are the actions that can destroy all my good deeds? Number one, shirk, associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the most thing that I am scared that you might face is a shirk al-khafi, the hidden form of shirk. What is it, Ya Rasulullah? Al-riya, showing off. So be careful, my brother, my sister. Third, Thawban radiallahu an narrated this hadith. And he said, Rasulullah sallallahu was sitting with the Sahaba and he said, I know people who will come on the day of judgment with hasanat, with good deeds, as big as the mountain of Tihama, huge mountain, and Allah will make it into scattered dust. So Ban start trembling. Ya Rasulullah, who are these people? Describe them to us. We don't want to be among them, Ya Rasulullah. Listen to what Rasulullah said. He said, they are your brothers worshipping at night. Yani the fard is already done. They perform the salat and the siyam. That's all done. They also perform qiyam just like you. But when they are alone, they transgress the, the sacred limits of Allah Azza wa Jal. So my brother, my sister, not how are you in the masjid? How are you when you're alone? How's your iman when you are, your parents outside the house, your spouse is not in the house? How are you then? The spouse that cheats on his spouse, he's included in this. The one who takes a bribe to get things going and moving, he's included in this. To avoid this, remember that Allah Azza wa Jal, Alam Ya'lam Bi Anna Allah Yara. Don't you know that Allah is watching? Fourth, the one who hates any of the rules of Sharia. Qala Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Karihu ma anzal Allah fa'ahbata a'malahum. They hate what Allah has revealed, so Allah have destroyed, eliminated all their amal. Someone, I don't care about the sunnah. Someone, this deen, this Islam need to be reformed. You see how dangerous are these statements? Fifth, which is unfortunate, ya akhwan, some of us do this, going to a magician or a fortune teller. What's the evidence? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Whomsoever go to a magician or a fortune teller, just goes there. 40 days, Salat is not accepted. And if they believe what this fortune teller said, or what this magician did, what happened? He have disbelieved of what has been revealed to Muhammad. It's not a joke. Why it's so severe? Because again, you're asso associating the attribute of knowing the unseen to someone other than Allah.